What do you think's coming? Like wh- wh- what's coming in the airway space? Oh, so my my goal in my life would be to see one like my office has an ENT in the same office that has a my everybody's in there and we just say okay I'm gonna you're gonna see me go here in 30 minutes see him see him and we all sit around and we're gonna co- you know collaborate on what we need to do. That's kind of my goal. What I would like to see that, but in in the bigger picture, um, it, as far as um, adults. We've last couple of years, we understand what sleep apnea is and how important it is. No one's now we're just diving into how important it is for children with sleep disorders. It's not just sleep apnea. There's sleep disorders that are that are has, you know, causing all kinds of problems. So if we get awareness out and things like this, I want to, you know, do webinars to teach the ENT school or teach, you know, other people. This is something that we need to be able to get on a larger scale where I believe it's getting bigger is media and moms because moms know that there's something wrong with their baby and if there's something wrong they're going to go figure it out so if we just kind of show you know that there's an answer and people are willing to kind of really put it together in a program where we can help these kids and and insurance doesn't uh, you know address it so that makes it harder for a young mom trying to figure out what to do so we try to make it affordable for on our side so we can help these kids. We don't want to, you know, step over a child that, that needs something but can't afford it. So 